Hey guys, John Vaporoni Technologies here today. Uh, we are working with a CNC aluminum part here. This is 6061 aluminum. This is an example of a heat sink. And oftentimes we've seen heat sinks come in or any machine part come in with slight burrs. And we're here to help deburr these parts. We're gonna attempt to deburr this part in glass bead. Oftentimes we do a four to one ratio of glass bead and aluminum oxide. That really gives you the benefits of both worlds. So you get the smoothing, polishing action of the glass bead because you have four parts of it. And that one part, aluminum oxide, it gives you more of a cutting action, helping remove some of those more stubborn burrs. But we're gonna give this a shot just to see what this looks like. Uh, we know it's gonna come out beautiful with the glass bead mixture. And what we're gonna do is just show you the after results so you can be the judge um, on what you specifically need for your application. But there are many different abrasive combinations and vapor honing that you can use, many different abrasive types and different sizes within those abrasive types. So you can really customize this mixture depending on what you need. Sometimes that goes off of an aesthetical surface finishing look, and sometimes it goes off the surface roughness. And that's where we have digital microscope technology um, that we can look at these parts and tell you exactly what the surface roughness is. And of course you can look at it and see visually what you like. So depends what you need. Um, we're here to help you figure that out. We're gonna be using the VH800 FL um, for those of you that don't know, this is the middle of the road plastic cabinet that we build. Um, super robust, durable cabinet. We've been building these since 2016. We have these in more factories and workshops and garages across the world than any other wet blasting cabinet manufactured by anybody else in the world. And that's a fact. This has been one of the highest sold units in the world today. And we're super excited to keep producing these, but also to show you some awesome results from these cabinets. Just to give you a quick overview of this machine, this is the middle of the road. So this would have all of the goodies, bells and whistles that some of our bigger metal cabinets have. And that's really the benefit. It comes in a nice small footprint, very durable, very robust. And you get all those, again, benefits that some of the bigger industrial versions that we build that have. So you get all that under 6,000 bucks, it's hard to beat. Um, and that, you know, of course you have to add shipping, but under 6,000 bucks out the door um, before shipping, it's fully assembled. It's ready to go when you get it. There are many different add-ons that you can add to this machine. If you wanna know what those are, call or email into the sales team. They're always here and happy to help you. But let's get started. Let's blast this part. Let's get some air. So we're gonna dial the pressure up. On this specific instance, we're gonna use 90 PSI. We can set that on the precision regulator. That's one of the beautiful benefits of the 800 FL and of course the higher end industrial cabinets as well. Um, you have quick adjustability on the regulator so you can see it while you're here using the machine um, because you know you're gonna have static versus working PSI differences uh, depending on how your shop or your building or your warehouse is plumbed. Um, you're always gonna have a pressure drop from static to working, so when I'm at the machine working and running, I wanna be able to quick glance at the, the regulator gauge so that I know what my blasting pressures are. Um, oftentimes, people have very tight process controls in industrial applications, so we have to make sure that you can quick and easily see what the PSI settings are, and that's, that's what makes this so awesome. So again, this is an absolute steal. You have the wiper, for the window, you have the precision regulator right here on the front. That alone is a huge selling point. Plus, you can set and blast. I know some people don't like to, but I do. I've used these machines for 16 hours at a time during different stints, doing different work for customers. And uh, yeah, you want to be comfortable for 16 hours. You know, when blasting parts like this, it's so satisfying, simply because you can see, number one, and number two, you can do so many different things with these vapor honing machines, depending on the abrasive that you put in them. There's so many different things that you can do. Um, the versatility or the options are endless. This machine, I, I remember saying this to other, the other day to a customer, these machines probably have the greatest return on investment 
than any other machine that I've ever demoed, used, bought, sold in the industrial world because there's so many different applications that you can do with this one specific product. Yes, you have to change the abrasive, but that's only cost you pennies compared to you know, using another machine or another machine or a totally different process. Um, you guys that manufacture and um, service parts or pieces or equipment, you know how expensive it gets when you have to buy tools and equipment. But this machine right here single-handedly gives you the greatest return on your investment. I mean, we're blasting CNC parts right now in glass bead. I could start blasting, um, let's say motorcycle parts or automotive parts or investment casting parts or tool and die parts in the same cabinet as long as they fit using the same exact abrasive. Um, and that's what we do in the showroom all the time. That's what we're showing you guys, the viewers. But again, there's so many different things that you can do. So your return is huge. Plus, don't forget, we have a trade-up program. Probably one of the biggest things in the industry that nobody talks about. Um, but there are so many of our customers that use this on a weekly basis. They will trade this in and go to the next biggest cabinet. So we can grow with you and with your business. And that's what we do here. We build cabinets that last for a lifetime. So we can take your machine back, give you full credit, and then you can go up to the bigger machine, right? We've all bought tools or toolboxes that don't fit us forever. I know because I have things around these, this factory right now that I've bought 12 years ago that no longer work because they're too small or they're just outdated. So that's where we come in and we can give you the bigger, latest, greatest thing. I mean, you're not gonna lose your money. You can't go down, but you can go up, right? That's a huge, huge value in this industry that nobody talks about. And the reason nobody talks about it is because they don't actually want you buying one of these, right? Because this thing is a force to be reckoned with. If you're competing against somebody that has one of these, I'm telling you, it's a force to be reckoned with. Right here, but you can already see just how clean and crisp and smooth this part is. A lot of people want that Apple-like look when they're machining aesthetical parts, parts that can be seen by humans that are gonna be buying them. Let's just say this is an actual heat sink going into an electrical box. You're not gonna see it, right? So maybe they don't care about machine path toolbarks, but um, some customers do care about that. So um, also people who are using uh, secondary coating uh, that are prepping for coatings. They want the parts to look as uniform and seamless as possible, specifically for anodized. So keep that in mind um, when trying to figure out what machine to buy or what process even, right? Because you've got sandblasting, you've got vapor honing, you've got vibratory tumbling, shot blasting. You have so many different options, right? But keep all this stuff in mind, the versatility, the cost, the trade-up programs, um, and then, of course, amazing, amazing parts just like this. This pretty much all but deburred the part. It's quite amazing, actually. There's no sharp, sharp edges anymore. Um, and that's amazing for glass bead. Again, normally we run a four to one mixture of glass bead to aluminum oxide. That's what I've sold for years in the CNC machining markets. But again, it depends what you want, right? Or what your customer wants. But that's what we're here for. We don't just sell equipment we sell processes. So I hope that helps you. If you guys like more content like this, subscribe to the channel, like our videos, comment, put stuff in the comments below, things you wanna see next, things you want us to show off. That's what we're here for. And if you have more questions, call or email the sales team. As always, thanks for watching.